Hello and welcome in this very special episode of Before It Is All Gone, where we are in Mityana Forest in Uganda and we are looking for reptiles, mostly snakes. We are in the Mamba Zone, where we are looking for Jameson's Mambas. We are equipped with hooks and I'm equipped with Alpha and his local snake guides. So we have the experts on the field. So I have every hope that we will find some incredible snakes. I have the biggest smile on my face because I want to do this for years and years now. And finally, I am here. I have specialists to take me out herping in Uganda and look for some of the most iconic snake species of Africa. So come with me and see what incredible herbs we will find today and the next couple of days in different areas of Uganda. And of course, as always, if you like my videos, you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, follow me and like and share. Also comment, let me know what you think about herping in Uganda. We already found two snakes in about 10 minutes, actually three, all three of them green snakes. And one we've seen the movement, one we've seen the, the snake and the third one we managed to take a picture from far but then when we tried to get it down or get closer it escaped like a rocket but it it is incredible just look around where we are where we are looking for snakes the habitat is just incredible this is mamba territory <laughs> when you come herping here in this bit flooded forest it's the real deal, it's not your guide going around and looking for snakes. Uh, we have a specialized guide, we have three local guys, plus myself, and we're all spread out, all with hooks, and all looking for snakes with radios to call each other in case we found one. So if you come here to herp, you do the job as well. So far I managed to spot two of the green snakes, we already found four. One of our local spotters uh, did find a mamba, and actually they're in the process to try to get us in a good position to see it or get the snake in a different position. As you can see, somebody climbing up the tree, trying to locate that snake and get it closer to us for a good look or a picture. We are so lucky. We are about to give up, but I don't give up. We got actually now four or five people working on getting us to the snake. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is, this is something everybody should try. This is real herping and people are putting up a very good effort to get us the snakes. That was a bit serious. <laughs> Okay. Calm down, calm down, please. <laughs> we are your friend. Mambas are some of the most famous snakes in Africa and also some of the most feared ones. There are four different species of mambas and out of those, the following three are the most commonly known one, the western green, the eastern green mambas and the so infamous black mambas. But there is a four species as well and that's this guy, the Jameson's mamba. Jameson's mambas has a dull green upper part green under part and they're around two meters in length. The eastern subspecies, like this guy, has a very characteristic black tail. And of course, as any mambas, they're very easy to recognize after the famous coffin-shaped hat. Alpha moved the mamba and now it's on a little tree where it calmed down and it's posing for us. We'll take a few more pictures and then we will put it back on the tree where we found it and we'll be saying a big big thank you for it to showing up so herping here in Mityana forest Uganda beyond words beyond words so let's see if you can see a mamba on a simple GoPro footage not with any other camera I would think you can see it. <laughs> there is an alpha laughing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> He's quite happy too, just like me. Really very Jameson's mambas are predominantly arboreal 
and they prey mostly on birds and small mammals. Their venom is very potent, it consists of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins. And actually the eastern subspecies, this guy right here, has twice as potent venom than its uh, central and western African subspecies. These snakes are not aggressive, like their cousins the black mambas, so actually accidents with humans are not very common, but when bites happen, they can be fatal within 3-4 hours, so yes, it is a pretty venomous and dangerous snake, so we need to be careful with it. Similar to cobras, they can flatten their neck, although their hood is not as wide as marked as the cobras. And as you can see right here, the specimen we found was getting ready to molt, uh, to change its skin, you can see it on the milky eyes. This is a sensitive moment in every snake's life, so we put the snake back as soon as possible to the tree where we found it. And of course, in between finding snakes, the Mambazon delivered on insects, small lizards and frogs as well. The forest was alive, so not one dull moment in this place. We are leaving this forest, the Mambazon officially delivered and heading to a different area for a different target species, so keep on watching because more to come. When I asked Alfar uh, if it's always like this, because this time they made a little commotion up on the tree and the snake decided to come down, so I asked him if it's always like that, but then you need to see sometimes what is happening? Yeah, uh, actually, that's what we always do. When it is up in the tree, somebody goes up with a stick, flips it down, then for us, some of us will remain down. We be on target, looking at it falling down, and we jump on it, <laughs> yeah. Because if you leave it, when it goes down, it can easily disappear. <laughs> so people will remain down, they have to be so sharp and <laughs> focused. Yeah. So basically, you're making a mamba rain, and then you're waiting it to catch it automatically <laughs> <laughs> perfect <laughs> and he's having so much fun with it yeah, that's I, the best I really enjoy it <laughs> it is a bit of fun on my side i enjoy it so much <laughs>